Watching the world burn, watching the world burn, June 23rd, 2024, let's get into it. I can't believe the events today, I wasn't even going to make a video. <laughs> in fact, I was just taking it easy because it's kind of a rainy day here in Florida. But holy shit, I mean, are you kidding me? The, the lunatic warmongering Democrats want nuclear war. There's no doubt about it. I hope you and your family are frightened. I hope you and your family are, you know, digging a freaking bunker in your backyard because that's the only explanation that I have for any of this. First thing I wanted to get was this was the greatest explanation I've seen on uh, X. This is S.L.K.A.N.T.H.A.N. Canton. And I... Uh, this was his video that he put up. It's two minutes long. I'm going to play the whole thing. I'm just going to put it up to the microphone here and let you listen to it. But this is what he looks like. If you want to see what what he looks like, there he is. And uh, let's 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 play this video. The biggest piece of the puzzle that everyone is missing. Yes, the West has been provoking Russia for 30 years, but the core conflict is about the Russian naval base in Sevastopol, Crimea. That is Russia's only warm water seaport. It is so strategic that Brzezinski wrote in the 1990s, take away Crimea, you cripple Russia. That port was leased to Russia until 2017 and was supposed to get renewed every 20 years. Here comes the plot twist. In 2004, the U.S. government and George Soros staged a color revolution when a pro-Russian candidate, Yanukovych, won the election. Thanks to mobs for hire, there was a new election and a U.S. puppet became the president. He immediately started saying that he will not renew the lease for the Russian naval base. Later, he signed a deal with NATO in 2008 to begin the membership process. Things were going very bad for Russia until Yanukovych won the election again in 2010. But just when Russia started to relax, the U.S. staged a second coup in 2014 and kicked out Yanukovych. That is why Putin went into Crimea and held a referendum. Between 2014 and 2022, NATO trained tens of thousands of neo-Nazi militias like the Azov Battalion, and they were ready to invade Crimea. That's why Russia decided to put an end to this once and for all. That's a quick summary. I'll do a longer podcast later on. Thanks. All right, that's him right there. I thought that was the greatest explanation that I've heard for you to understand what's taking place in the world. So right now, we are having massive protests uh, taking place in Tel Aviv, Israel. Israel protesters are calling for Netanyahu's immediate ousting, a ceasefire hostage deal, and new elections. I won't play you the video, but it's, uh, it's, it's a quite large crowd. <laughs> I'd say hundreds of thousands. Uh, let's just keep going. Uh, the uh, United States uh, is being blamed for uh, a... Dagestani terrorist uh, who just, well, I mean, there was a terrorist attack that just took place. And uh, they're saying the terrorist just slit the throat of 66-year-old Father Nikolai. I can't even pronounce this. K-O-T-E-L-N-I-K-O-V. Nikoltovkov. He was the uh, rector of the parish uh, for the last 40 years. He's now a martyr of Christ. Uh, and, and boy, we're going to get more on the, this terrorist attack that took place, and the Russians are blaming us for that. Uh, this is just uh, all over X. Uh, there was a huge uh, missile strike, uh, U.S. attack on missiles that uh, have killed uh, a number of civilians in Crimea. I imagine from the beginning of the video that they were trying to attack the base. Uh, Evidently, the Russians were shooting them down, and the cluster munitions fell across a beach, killed the mayor's daughter of Crimea. Uh, but let's just read uh, all of the, uh, the clips. Uh, this is Russians with Attitude. Uh, right now, after the missile strike against Crimean Beach, 
More attacks occurred inside Russia. Well, and you already know about this. A priest was murdered during a terrorist attack against the Orthodox Church in Dagestan and also in Dagestan, a synagogue that was set on fire. Several policemen have been killed in firefights with terrorists. Let's just keep going. This is uh, Salminian Amen breaking. Yemeni Houthis, Houthis strike the Eisenhower before it departs to the Red Sea. We targeted the American Af aircraft carrier Eisenhower in the northern Red Sea, and we also targeted the ship Transworld Navigator, which violated the ban on entry to ports of occupied Palestine in the Arabian Sea in support of Gaza. No reports on whether the, uh, the target, the uh, uh, attacks went through on those uh, carrier fleets. I uh, DD Geopolitics, the terrorists in Dragestan were caught on video. CIA and MI6 were very busy. Uh, let's play you that video. Yes, the West has been pro provoking Russia for 30 years. Uh, that, was, that was the video that you saw at the beginning. Sorry about that. Breaking Muslim Muf Mufti of Dragestan official statement. Dear Dragestians, the, blasphemous, the blasphemous events taking place this evening terrified us with their cruel cynicism. Muslims will never show aggression against innocent and unarmed people, shedding the blood of those who pray in their temples in a bloody act of madness absolutely alien to Islam. These attacks, precisely on the days of church services, had taken place before in other churches in the Caucasus. Caucasus. The radicals want to pit us against each other with all their might and uh, burn infidel in interfaith bridges. But they won't succeed. We have faithfully preserved the traditions of the world from time immemorial, and it has not happened, and it will not happen, that Muslims attack the representatives of other faiths. One of our righteous ancestors, Imam Sheikh Sami Samil, built a church for Russian soldiers, and he did not burn any of the churches and synagogues. Today we share our grief with everyone who has lost and loved a loved one in this unequal and brutal attack that goes on from there. Let's just keep going. Lord Bebo, I think Zelensky is a criminal. Even the New York Times was talking about how corrupt Zelensky was just a few years before the war. Now he's canceled elections, he's closed churches, and now he's calling on young Christians to their certain death, says Candace Owens. Keep going. Uh, just in, Russian police under fire on the streets of Dagestan. Russian authorities confirm militants are using NATO or U.S. supplied weapons to conduct the attack. Holy shit. Keep going. Oh, my God. The... I, okay, I'm just going to spell this. A-B-K-H-A-Z-I-A. Havoska terror incidents at the border with Russia. The armed terrorist incident in Dragestan and the Attackums missile attack in Sevastopol Beach are all part of a wide-ranging plan by the United States to provoke a strong reaction from Russia. A nuclear war with Russia. At some point, the limit will be reached. If it is true, Russia has allowed the opponent to cross these red lines every time without consequences, there will be no special military operation. There will be war with the United States Democrats. This is what you want. This is where we're heading. Holy shit. Let's just keep going. Germany jailed a doctor for almost three years for giving people medical exemptions for wearing masks during COVID. Remember back in COVID when that giant PSYOP was d conducted upon you and you went along with it? You went along with the Democrats, your government, the vaccine mandates? What the hell is wrong with the American people? Let's just keep going. Why are liberals so obsessed with getting Trump? I seriously want to know. They spend zero effort, zero effort making the country better and instead obsess about stopping Trump. Are they deranged? Yes, they are. They are satanic. They are demonic. That's who the Democrats are. <coughs> Black. 
in the empire. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. The U.S. pretended for all those years that they cared about the rules-based order, human rights, and international law. Then Israel decided to openly commit genocide, and they were forced to show the world how full of crap they are. It was a different word. You can use your imagination. DD geopolitics as a result of the NATO-backed terrorist Kiev regime strike on Sevastopol. 124 people were injured, including 27 children, according to the assistant of the head of the Ministry of Health in Russian Federation. Among the 27 children injured in Sevastopol after the attack with U.S.-supplied attackums, I'm programmed by the United States, by the Special Forces of the United States, at the direction of the Biden Democrat administration, let's just keep going, with cluster munitions, fiber in serious conditions, and doctors are fighting for their lives. One of the told children who was killed was a nine-year-old daughter of the deputy mayor of Magadan, Oleg Arestanov. According to the city's mayor, Yuri Gristan, the girl was on vacation with their parents at the beach. Imagine you send your kid to Miami to go to a beach and a Russian missile lands on top of your kid. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it, you freaking idiot, lunatic, satanic, demonic Democrats? Sons of... Oh, my God, I'm going crazy. Clandestine World War III alert. Russian ML declares terrorist. U.S. responsible for deaths of Russian civilians in Crimea. Russian ML reports that U.S. made attackums. Cluster missiles assisted by U.S. satellite reconnaissance were fired by Ukraine into Sevastopol. Russia claims they intercepted the missiles, but the fragments of one of them broke off, detonated an explosion, killing five civilians, injuring three children, and injuring 124 plus more. Russian ML claims that such actions are not going to lay left unanswered. Regardless of who or what you believe, the reality is we are closer to nuclear war than we have been since 1962. The West, led by the corrupt, warmongering, Biden, Democrat regime, Obama, you know, we know Obama's really in charge, right? Continue to provoke Putin in his hopes that he will escalate. The deep state are trying to initiate World War III, but need to make it look like Russia's fault. Why do you want to exterminate the world, Democrats? Why? Why? And, and why are the Christians and the Republicans going along with it, you rhino idiots up there in Congress? Holy moly. Uh, and then it just goes on. Well, here, this, 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 I'll get you this one too. Kim.com. The U.S. Air Force directed the attack on missile strike against Russian civilians today. This is an act of war by the United States government against Russia. Did Joe Biden seek permission from Congress to start a direct war with Russia? Did America sign up for this? Did you sign up for this? You warmongering lunatic Democrats, did you sign up for this? I know I didn't. I don't want this. Let's just watch the video. <laughs> Insanity. Wall Street apes. Insanity. Immigration Accountability Project. Biden admin orders all federal agencies to provide voter registration information to everyone that come in contact with. State election officials are not permitted to ask for proof of citizenship for applicants who fill out the federal form. I've been telling you that the Democrats are giving the illegal aliens the right to vote. Everybody doesn't believe me. Nobody wants to believe that cybersecurity guy. I, Rosemary Jinks, with the Immigration Accountability Project, as Senator Lee said, we estimate that there are upwards of three, 30 million non-citizens so far and born who have not naturalized and are therefore ineligible to vote under our laws who have now been given ballots to vote in the next United States election and being instructed to vote for Biden and the Democrats. Let's just keep going. All right. All right. The problem that we have now is that the Biden administration, and by the way, Texas is going blue. 1.4 million illegal immigrants are going to vote in Texas. Greg Abbott is a Democrat. Let's keep going. The problem we have now is that the Biden administration, there's a Biden executive order that orders all federal agencies to provide voter registration information to everyone they come in contact with. We now know the state election officials are not permitted to ask for proof of citizenship for applicants. 
who fill out the federal form. The only way to correct this, purge the databases, eliminate all registrations, and have only people with a voter ID re-register in the states. Contact your governor. Let them know this is going on. Ah, it's been over three hours since Ukraine attacked a bunch of civilians in the beach in Sevastopol. And then it just goes on from there. Ah, Elon Musk. Yeah, I tell you, I always like to read his tweets. Another conspiracy theory turns out to be true. Strange that Arizona requires proof of citizenship for state, but not federal elections. This is from Elon Musk. He's seeing what's going on. How come you can't see what's going on? Huh? All right. So then it goes on from J. Michael Waller. Welfare offices in 49 states are handing out voter registration applications to illegal aliens. No proof of citizenship is required. Need I continue with this theme? I've been beating on this for the last four videos that we are registering all the illegal immigrants that have come into the country. 30 million now. Do you think this is going to sway the election and they're all being instructed to vote for Biden and the Democrats? Or they lose the, remember, understand, you don't bite off the hand that feeds you. The Democrats are giving them $10 million or $10,000 a month just to survive. I mean, these guys are making out like bandits while they're poor in the ditches and the homeless rot in the gutters and people are dying from fentanyl and women are being raped all around the country because the cartels have been crossing the border. I mean, how evil do you think the Democrats are? Oh my God. Uh, the U.S. Air Force RQ-4B Global Hawk High Altitude Reconnaissance Drone provided the Ukrainian Armed Forces with information and coordinated today's attack on missile strike, which used cluster munitions on the residential areas of Sevastopol. As a result of the attack, 100 people were injured, and that's just going on with that story. Um, let's see. Oh, this is good. American pilots are refusing to serve in the Army as a matter of conscience. Because, the US, because of the U.S. support for Israel, NBC News has reported, one of the soldiers told the publication that he finally decided to leave the ranks of the U.S. Army after the death of a six-year-old girl reminded him of his own daughter so he can't support what's going on. Thank God there are some U.S. soldiers with a conscience. I mean, I know that we've been replacing everybody. Remember the, 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 the vaccine mandate? They got rid of over, I think, about 8,000 uh, patriots from the military. And that's what that was all about because they wanted to praise them with these woke-minded idiots that will just obey orders and kill everything in sight. You, including you and me. But let's just keep going. Pilot Judon Bantacourt said he sees the killing of thousands of innocent civilians by U.S. weapons. What strikes him most is how these atrocities are described in the diplomatic material and media memos. In an interview with the publication, both soldiers described Israel's attack on Gaza as genocide and said the images coming out of the region affected not only them, but many Americans. Well, maybe some U.S. soldiers, of course our generals, our 44 generals. Why do we have 44 generals? Ask yourself that. What the hell's up with that? In World War II, what, we had five or six? I mean, this is ridiculous. There's no way this country can survive this lunacy. Ah, uh, breaking. Nigeria kicks French uranium mining companies out. The era of French companies uh, sucking almost free uranium in Nigeria while 70% of the population live without electricity is over. The country revolted, revoked permission from the sub subsidiary of the French company Orano, <coughs> Orano, o -R -A -N -O, to operate the Emurian Emu mine, one of the largest uranium deposits in the world. Breaking. Google has banned Nigel Farage's uh, Reform Party from advertising. This is, this is election interference in the highest degree. Well, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, Google's got me banned. <laughs> Go do a search for that cybersecurity guy. You won't find me anywhere. But uh, so Big Tech John has blocked the ad accounts and are try they are trying to stop the reform message. I hope Matt Britton can look into this and issue a matter of urgency. We want action. Empire of lies. Hard to comprehend how this horror is still happening. In the same world, someone would have made it stop. In our world, it continues with no end in sight. What does this tell you about our world? And this is the Quad News Network. Scores of innocent civilians, predominantly women and children, were killed in the blink of an eye this afternoon in a massive, 
a massive Israeli airstrike targeting the residential square in the Al Shari refugee camp in Gaza City this afternoon. The genocide continues. The Christians in the United States want to exterminate the Palestinians. The Israeli Zionists want to exterminate the Palestinians. And the Democrats certainly want to exterminate the Palestinians. I could continue. This video has gone long enough. Peace out. Stay free. You can run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Go tell that globalist liar, that Democrat idiot writer, that rhino rambler, that nuclear war gambler, that backbiting U.S. politician. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down.